Hey everybody, Danny Ard here. Thanks for joining us. This week I travel back home to see my parents and my dad kindly invited me out to his home golf course. And what I saw was absolutely remarkable. I was so pleased for him. He, my dad was hitting it so much better than I've ever seen him do. I played golf with my dad since I was like this high. My dad's 75 now and I think he's swinging it better than I've ever seen him in his entire life. I think he's in it 20 plus yards further uh, from uh, when I saw him last time. His swing looks easy, it looks effortless. But more importantly, what I absolutely loved was he said to me, Danny, when I'm not doing it right, I can now feel it. You know, how often have you been on the golf course when you're hitting dodgy shots with what you feel is exactly the same swing, but you're hitting one shot beautifully down the fairway and the next one to the right or left, you know? My dad could feel now what he was doing. So what I want to do in this week's uh, training is share with you because I know it will benefit uh, you as well, is how you tr achieve this easy, effortless golf swing, no matter your age. How did my dad do it? What has he done? What are the steps he's taken? Because it isn't overnight. He wasn't at 20 push outs every single time, but it's getting there. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we did. Before I do though, if you're new to the channel, and this is one of your first videos of mine, consider subscribing. Press that little bell icon next to the subscribe icon, and you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. So. What is my dad doing now that he wasn't doing? Well, there's a couple of things. The lack of power originally, and the reason why he sliced a lot of the time was because he was very torso dominated. He would swing like this. He would swing here, backwards here, and from the top, he would hit very much just with this section of the body. Now, if, if you've seen any of my videos before, you realize that you know the golf swing is very much like throwing in the sense that it's it, a great golf swing and the effortless swing is delivered from the ground upwards. If I let my arms relax here, and I, in a sense, throw, my arms get slung. It doesn't do this. This is a weak way of throwing a golf ball. Now, I needed to create that in my dad. And what he started to do, he actually did that. He actually now started to get the lower, using the ground. It's amazing. So it was like athletic. I was 75 years old. It looks brilliant. He started to use the ground. Fantastic. And then he even got this. He even got his firing up, so the club catapulted through the impact area to generate the speed. So he was not only getting, in a sense, this strong athletic position, which maintains some accuracy, but he even got the club catapulting. Now, let me explain the steps that we did to achieve that for him. So, the first thing he needed to do was start to use the ground for the first time. And he needed two things to happen. He needed to get his arms nice and relaxed, and I gave him a simple exercise. In fact, he got it from one of my videos, which I'm actually gonna put in this top right-hand corner here, and I'll put also a link in the description to it as well. It goes into a bit more detail. I've got some balance cushions you can uh, use with it, so check it out here. But this is the drill I gave him. And because he wasn't using the ground very much, I said, like, we're gonna exaggerate this. And I got him to kind of, in a sense, get the heel of the left coming up and the toe of the right. So that's his backswing. And then got him to put the right toe down so it kind of looks like this, like we're walking almost on the spot like this. It's just a couple of things. It keeps us centered, it's not swaying around, and it's, it's how he's now starting to use the feet. He's putting pressure into the toe and the heel, alternatively, okay, like this. Okay, right, now I want you to do that. I said, now experience how that, the shift of that pressure affects the way you swing the arms. Now, you stand there with nice relaxed arms, watch this. Okay, let's keep going. Swinging those arms. Now, what would he do to start off with? And what you might have got to be careful of. Naturally, he goes into golf mode and he starts to swing those arms artificially. That's not the point with this. Just like throwing a ball, we don't throw it just with our arm. Our arm gets slung by the momentum and the use of the ground. So we start off nice and slow. You could do this indoors. I know some of you are going to watch this in winter. So this is an ideal exercise. Let your arms hang down naturally. Up, down, backwards and forwards. Now as you get to the top, watch this. Imagine in a sense, just feeling, as I in a sense use my lower half, I'm not driving my arm down, not forcing this motion. I'm going to get the sensation of how my body, the lower half, affects this. Now the faster and harder I go, the more speed and more catapult I get. Now, clearly, my dad phones me up. He's based in Leeds. And he goes, Danny, I'm doing this, but I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm losing my balance. Yes, you will do sometimes. It's difficult. I mean, it's an exaggerated motion. 
but exaggerating it will give you the sensation of this, okay? Now, you don't have to do the power exercise. That comes, that leaves that to later. We're just for now just getting the feet working. So once we did that, you've, he's now got the relationship between the feet, the foot and the hand. I call it like a foot to hand swing. You're kind of the feet, and in a sense, moving the hand. Now we want is a foot to head swing. So we want to be able to experience how the feet impact this head. If you want to catapult this head, you don't want to be forcing it again with your arms. You're going to work out how the feet apply that energy to the end of the product, okay? So watch this. So we, I often say, let's start uh, short, uh, forward here, and then look, we're going to put the heel down here, backwards and forwards, and we're going to let that swing. What did he do? Clearly, same again. He uses his arms to take the club away because he's in golf mode. It's normal. So he said, no, to take your time, get a sensation of this motion. Now, I used a little trick at this stage, which I learned from um, a recent client of mine, Rick. He's a um, surgeon in the States, and he, he, he told the story about his first operation that he did where he was really, really nervous. And he was going into a patient, and he was trying to find out what he was looking for, and he couldn't. He was getting really nervous, and he, he just couldn't find it. He couldn't feel it. And his mentor said, Rick, just feel it. I can't feel it. And he's, he's a small little panic in there. So he said, Rick, you need to learn to feel it. And Rick turned away from the patient and put his hands in. And what do you think that did? What do you think? He gave his hands opportunity to experience what was inside, and he found what he was looking for. The thing is, is sometimes when you in a sense, when that ball gets in the way and it can get into our head, we're trying to hit it straight, we're worried about where it's going to go, we're worried about striking it, that can distract us from actually experiencing what we're supposed to be working on. So a little trick here is to either, you can close your eyes with this, it's a really good exercise just to kind of get the feel of this, you can look to the side of the golf ball, but the aim is to distract yourself, okay, in fact, what I'm going to look at you at the camera, distract yourself so you can actually experience what's going on with those feet, and then, See if you can get that relationship to the head. So watch this, as I, as I complete my swing here, and I put my toe down and my heel in, so I feel that force, I'm gonna feel, I can feel the reaction of the club head. The club's getting slung here. It's being slung because as I power down here into my heel, and I power down into my front of my right foot, I can feel the reaction of this. Not always easy initially, so let's go with this. So we're swinging backwards and forwards, we're getting this momentum, start slowly. You might not be ready to do the power yet, that's fine. Just see if you can feel the reaction. Okay, I'm feeling that. Okay, I'm really getting that sensation of this working. So off we go. Nice and small to start off with. We get ourselves set, no big shots. We're gonna kind of feel like the club gets swung back here, backwards and forwards, and then away we go, just with the feet. Nice and easy. Okay, that'll do. Nice and easy to start with. No worrying about where the ball's going at this stage. All we're doing is we're learning to experience the feet. If all you did was get them working, which I said to my dad, get them working, at least now you're using the ground. Now it's gonna be difficult not to kind of get those arms being forced in, that's fine, but just take your time with this, backwards and forwards. Now, as he's doing this, we then, and he's starting to get a feel for this, I said, look, see if you can now Use that pressure, so he's now got the feeling. See if you can just push it harder. So it's almost like you're stomping. Stomp, 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 stomp. The heel comes up here, and then you're stomping it down here, and it's stomp there. Yep, stomp on both the heel and the toe. The bang, I almost feel like you're doing it at the same time. And then he said, what happens here? As you do that, you get what he described as the vertical force of firing upwards, which is wonderful for drivers. You stomp here, you get this catapult effect through. Very different for the people who don't hit it very far, who are almost doing this. They're hitting it this, they're moving sideways. There's no catapult of the club. There's, we want this club to be catapulted like this with speed. We don't want to be pushing the club forward. So how do we do this? Watch this. When I'm swinging back, I'm going to catapult that club by stomping here 
those pressure points. Let's have a look at this in action. Back here. Let's stomp down. And then he really felt as though he's really using the ground and he was getting this kind of standing up and this catapult effect. This did not happen overnight. First things first, he had to relax the arms. He, used to, he had to get that experience of how the feet were impacting on those arms. He then gradually built up the speed. And then we added one final thing. All this is great. You're using the feet, you're seeing how that impacts the club head, but then what you gotta do, you gotta have a look at introducing the target and visualizing a little bit of flight. So my dad now needs to kind of focus on where he's hitting the golf ball. He spent mostly trying not to, uh, trying not to slice it, which was, which was causing him to kind of avoid the, the trouble on the right. So he was always swinging into a window that existed over here. Now we needed to encourage him to swing to a window that's much, much here. We actually wanted to try and encourage him to draw the ball, set the ball off a little bit to the right. So what we did was we got the arms here. Now you've got the body swinging backwards and forwards. You get the feel of how those feet are working. Now I said, look, just imagine swinging. And as, you, as you're kind of swinging the, the arms, imagine them kind of, you're releasing that into a window that's over on this right-hand side. So backwards and forwards. So you're still moving the feet but you want to imagine that you're sw slinging the arms into the window here. That means he's less likely to then do this, come over the top. So learn the feel first of this. Yeah, nice and easy. Sling. Then we said, look, learn the experience of the club head. Learn that, ignore the ball for a second. Learn to sling the club head, Rel get that relationship. So now we're slinging the club head into that window. So again, we're starting the feet off, start off slowly. Swinging those arms, learning the pressure points, pushing down, swing those arms freely into that window, backwards and forwards. Clearly what my dad did, like we've done for all of this, he was trying to guide it and push it. No, we are slinging them there. They're being slung there by the way you're moving those feet. So bit by bit, we introduced this target. Did he have a beautiful draw straight away? Of course not. But now he's starting to get that sensation of where we need to be going. So a little draw here, backwards and forwards through the impact here, really getting that arms being slung, really get the club being slung. It feels out of control. It feels risky to do, you know? It's not an, a thing. People feel out of control and they feel the ball's going to go everywhere but it's simply how you use centrifugal force. It's how the body naturally moves. It's so much more consistent. So what have we done today? We based it on three things. The first thing you need to do, and what I did with my dad is, you need to experience using the ground and then need to experience the relationship of how that links to and moves those arms. So you need relationship with the ground and you need to relax these things. If, you, these, if there's tension here, it's never gonna work. So I'm getting the heel, toe exercise here. I'm going to put two free videos in the video in the description below and up in the top right hand corner here which can go into more detail but this video alone could just really really work. So we're swinging those arms backwards and forwards. Then you get that relationship of how the arms are being slung. You need to pass that relationship on to the club head here backwards and forwards. Do it slowly and then see if you can stomp down. When you start stomping and you put in the keys on the downswing, you're putting pressure into the heel and the front part of the, the trail foot here. Bang! That is what will create that catapult. At no stage am I artificially doing this. It's been created by those feet. And the final piece of that jigsaw is you've got to introduce a target. You've got to be clear about this. If all it is about swing, there's nothing really driving where you're swinging to. And that's where the target needs to come in. Visualize the shot you want to hit, not what you don't. And then start off by, again, swinging the arms into the box that you want to hit. Backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. So feel that motion. And then gradually then introduce the sensation, the connection with this club head. Keep it as free as you can. And then away you go. You'll absolutely love it. It's how you generate speed. 
any tension here, imagine me throwing a ball with tension, I can't, you've got to let go. It is tricky to let go. It takes time and it's much harder to on a golf course initially, but go with it. I hope you enjoyed this training. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with some of your friends if they want to look and create a more effortless style golf swing. But until next week, everybody, have a great golfing week.